Uh, my ferro plate that I made it's 10 inch by 10 inches by 10 inches and uh, it's turned out rather well unfortunately I videoed how to make this unfortunately my video stopped after about four or five videos of me doing different procedures and proceeded to tell me that the memory was full so I went in and I had so many videos in there when I got to 50 I suddenly just thought oh, just delete them all so I deleted them all and then the second that I pressed delete um, I realised that I just deleted uh, the entire procedure of how to do this. Um, I'm just cleaning off glue right now with a razor blade. I think we're good to go. Just finished. We're all tidy. And now I'm going to show you why this massive plate is different from everybody else's. What about that? Do you see that? Oh yes you do. So yeah, I have put a great big hole in mine and I'm going to put a magnet in there and then we're going to see what we see. So yeah, I think the plates turned out pretty good. Got a couple of air bubbles but it was the first go. what we have. It's pretty sweet, eh? So, I think we're going to give it a go. Alright. It's not to worry, I can move it. Through the fucking inertia line. <laughs> oh, oh dear, look at how this goes. Now, there's tape at the bottom, so ignore that. It's 
so I can get the whole field in and out. Oh, and there it is. Get off. And so, yeah, now we're really going to see. That's just testing it out. So yeah, oh yeah, I'm not worried about my theory at all. I'm really happy with this fellow, so... <laughs> yeah, so Mike, if you can have a go at this, or somebody with a real professionalism. Because, honestly, ha 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 ha, I can now check the whole field. And I'm pretty sure it's doing what I say it is, from having a quick glance. So, uh, yeah, come night time tonight, See the field changes to go all the way through. Yeah, you can see where it goes in and out. So uh, yeah, tonight we're really going to see some groovy stuff because this is still daylight out. 
and I'm trying not to stick my camera to the thing here. Let's go. Let's put that back from there. So yeah, if it didn't have a couple of the air bubbles in it, which are then blue things, this would be absolutely perfect. See the field change? It flips out, out, and then the other side. <laughs> yeah, that's what we get for now. But as you can see, my modified light box and oh, that's just brilliant. So yeah, I'm going to show my theory because I can now show what's happening at the inertia line and I think we all know what's going to happen look at that all the way through the magnet sorry it's just difficult to hold See all that? Right there is the inertial line crossover. Look at it flick from side to side. One side, boom, to the other. Boom, boom. Ain't nothing self reciprocating here, man. This is going boom, boom, boom. One side to the other. And the only way it can do that is by flipping into the middle, spinning around, and boom out the other side and down. We have my inertial crossover point. There we go, because that's the inertial point. All right. And that's it. Thank you very much for now. This will be out later. Yeah, I'm liking how this is working. I'll get my son's camera tonight as well. <laughs> That's funny. So yeah, I want bigger, taller, higher, massive, real powerful LEDs. And in that way, I can stack them, because that's what I'm about to do. I'm going to be stacking plates. But as you can see, it's beautiful. So please, um, if you haven't donated already, please make a donation. Keep this uh, ministry going, because I'm going to show you what God is all about. And I think I've just shown how I'm going to do it. How brilliant. So please, thank you all those who donated. You've bought all this stuff, and uh, more stuff is coming. So uh, know that your money is getting spent wisely I hope because that was a genius idea and I thank whoever invented this and I've just changed it if anybody else wants to now start building stuff because I'm unemployed and unfortunately we're out of money now so if you want to see more of this basically I just need more powerful things so this was the prototype and boy has it worked so this should be absolutely amazing tonight. So thank you, Lord, for making an absolutely brilliant photo, ferro plate. So that's my ferro plate, which eventually will be a stack of balls because a flat plate on here without the hole will then give us the top and we'll be able to see everything above and below. But it's the mixing of the ferro fluid. You know, I only started this three days ago. I think I'm doing pretty good. Um, but unfortunately... I don't know anything about ferrofluid, so I'd have to buy like the really expensive penetrating oils and all this other stuff. Um, so yeah, if you think what I'm doing is 
totally groovy like I do, um, please make a donation. PayPal buttons are on my YouTube and on my Google page. Thanks very much. My name's Lee and I follow the Christ Jesus and he showed me all this in visions in 2014 for three weeks, day and night. And now I can finally show what's going on in a magnet. Thanks, Lord. Thanks very much. Bye.